Hey, how's it going? How is everyone doing on this lovely day? Now, actually, here in Ohio, it's not really lovely out. It's dreary and rainy and... Uh, that's not cold, though. That's, that's a good thing. Actually, I think... Uh, I believe tomorrow. Today is Monday the 27th. Um, I think tomorrow it's supposed to be right around the mid 50s and partly sunny. And then I think uh, I think Wednesday, I know it's supposed to be like 70, but I didn't really see whether it was supposed to be sunny or rainy or this time of year. It's one. It's one of those. Uh, you know, here in Ohio, it's one of those things where when you get a real mild day where it gets up in the 60s or 70s you're almost a given you're gonna have rain too um, you know just how it is and you know, you know we're still in February I mean the fact of it getting being that warm is uh, uh, weird I mean it's happened before in Ohio but it's just not very often and, uh, you know, I'm certainly not complaining I mean, I'd be happy if we could just stay like this. And, and, hey, if winter's over, great. Um, I'll be happy, uh, especially when I see my gas bill. But it's Ohio, so don't. What's the, what's the old saying? Don't count your chickens before they're hatched, right? Yeah, whatever the hell that means. I don't know. But I'd imagine it applies in this scenario somehow. In other words, don't. Don't plan on it, it being warm like this since you're in Ohio and it's February. Okay. Ohio, there's times we've gotten into like April and it's been down around freezing. So we'll just have to wait and see. But I guess the only good thing about it is, you know, over the next two days, uh, well, Wednesday, obviously it was raining uh, out a lot. I, I have to look at the, the, the weather again and see. But if it's not, I mean, at least over the next few days, I can get out at work and start knocking out some of the uh, spruce up stuff. I think tomorrow I'm going to try to uh, maybe go through the list for our Sydney location and uh, try to find out what what paints we have. I'll have to open some cans and see if they're still viable. Hopefully, I just need some mixed up. I might have to get some petty cash and maybe run over to across the street Sherwin Williams and get a another gallon of the the one paint um, that we use on the one of the outside colors. Because um, I know there are some spots that I don't think just power washing the building is going to to make them look real good. They probably could use just an actual fresh coat of paint. And the great thing is, is, even though it's brick, if you use a roller and then just a, a brush to real quickly go in the, like the, for lack of a term, the grout lines or the mortar lines, um, it actually can go fairly quick. Because um, you don't need like a real thick coat of paint. Like, you're just freshening it up. So. But that's my plan for tomorrow. Rest of the week, I don't know. We'll find out. Right now, my plan is to dive into one of these two packages I have sitting here. Obviously, if you've seen the title of this video, then you know before I do which one I want to choose. But I think we will go with... I think we'll go with the Metalhead box. Technically, this isn't a box. It looks like a bag. But it's kind of cool. Here is the... I'm going to actually hold on to this. Look at that. They got their own special like bubble mailers. Print it up for these. Of course, here we've got Eddie. And that's the, uh, oh god, I can't think of his name. I want to say it starts with R. But the, uh, from Megadeth. I can't think of his name. Because they just released a Funko Pop of him. I don't remember what it is. 
Don't remember right offhand. But anyway, this is the Metalhead box. They have a couple of different ones you can choose from. Um, the one I get normally comes with like a t-shirt, um, like a couple CDs, and then like like two small items like a pin, stickers, patches, stuff like that. So I think it normally comes with around five items, five or six items. It's right around $35, $36 a month, I believe. If you're a big fan of metal, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of, you know, I love metal. The majority of my CD collection, well, not a majority, but like a third of it is uh, is metal because I listen to all kinds of music. So the other two thirds of my CD collection encompasses, you know, everything from country to ska to reggae, uh, obviously classic rock, hair bands, um, swing music. Rockabilly, uh, you name it. I probably get at least one CD. You know, R and B. So, I, mean, I don't listen to a lot of R and B or or a lot of a lot of rap, um, but there is some. But yeah, so like a third of it though is is metal. But I'll be the first to say that I don't. There's a lot of metal bands I don't know because I haven't been exposed to them, um, especially bands from you know across the ocean that don't get a lot of airplay here. You know, especially, obviously, the radio in general isn't real good about it. Just regular, like, tune-in radio isn't real good about playing metal in general. Um, you know, Megadeth, Metallica is, you know, uh, you know it may, maybe like a Pantera, if they do, like, Cemetery Gates. Um, you know, there's a few, few other bands now, occasionally you'll hear a metal song from on the regular radio stations, but yeah. But real hardcore metal, which a lot of what those overseas bands are, I mean, they're hardcore like death metal. And um, yeah, you just, I mean, you don't hear that here. One is just because they don't just play it on radio, period. But two is because they're, they're bands from, you know, across the pond, if you will. And, uh, you know, they just, they don't get brought over here. And a lot of those bands, unfortunately, aren't, you know, they're not in a position to where they can come and tour here in the United States. So, I'll be the first to say there's a lot of bands I don't know, but that's why I get this box, so that I can get introduced to more and more metal bands that maybe I don't know. All right, so here we go. We'll pull it all out. They always kind of Put everything, well, not everything, your pin down here in the corner. I'm tempted to actually keep this, but at the same time, I mean, it's really cool artwork. I really like that. But I don't know what I'd do with it. I mean, I'd like to get like a print. That'd be cool to have a print. I guess I could. Maybe I could take a good picture of it with the lighting just right, and then I could I could actually make a photo print of it. I might do that. I might just do that. All right, here is the pin. It looks really familiar. Let me, let me take it out of the plastic. Make it a little bit easier to see. That little plastic bag. It's gonna, a little bit of a glare. A little bit of a barrier. Yeah, it's like a... It's like a guy surfing on a... It's like a casket. Holding a bomb or something. Ah. Try, to, try to get it to where you can see it. You can focus on that. Yeah. 
Let me focus in a little bit, I guess. Yeah. It looks really familiar. But it's not it's not registering. I'm almost positive I've seen it before, but I don't know what band. I do know it's not, I don't think it's a CD that I have. I'm almost positive it's not a, on a CD that I have. But I think I've seen it somewhere. Maybe on you know, something that popped up on Facebook or just an advertisement or something. All right, so we got the t-shirt. It's a black t-shirt. That's nice. So let's pull, pull the stuff out of the inside of the t-shirt. No, it looks like there's only three items. Maybe it is only a three item box. I was thinking there was more. No, I guess that is right. That is the one I subscribed to. Because I'm thinking of the, I'm thinking of the special boxes I bought from, from them. They're like flash sale boxes. So yeah, this this box that I, I subscribe to just comes with, a T-shirt, a CD, and then a pin. But here is the shirt. Temple Void. Temple of. Is that void or kind of looks like an S? Temple of. S, is it S B O I D? Hmm. Right. Cool design. That looks like S B O I D, right? Temple of Spoid. I don't know. Maybe I'm looking at that wrong. Maybe it's not S B. Maybe it's something else. I don't know. I like the shirt though. That's cool. You know, like I said, I'm no expert on metal. Uh, a lot of these bands, I won't have. A few of them that I've gotten, I, I did recognize, and I've actually heard prior to being introduced in this box, but some of them, I won't. And at least some of the some of the way these bands write their, or they make their logos. Unless you know them, you're not going to be able to read it. But we've got one is CD, this is a Metalhead Box exclusive. And this is Gore Guts. I've actually heard of them. I have heard of Gore Guts. Disc Incarnate. Oh, so it looks like this is a double so disincarnate I was thinking that was the name of their, their CD at first but no this is a, a double so it's got Gorguts and then the other band is disincarnate so looks like it's got five songs by Gorguts on it and then three songs by disincarnate Well, let's open this up and look at the inside of it. Maybe it'll have pictures of the bands. Now, now there's some people out there that would probably, especially you know, you know massive, huge metal heads, would probably look at me and want to you know, say poser or whatever, you know any other lame term that they like to throw at people that don't know everything there is to know about metal but uh, you know, whatever you're not gonna bother me by saying it. Well, I openly admit I don't know everything about metal but I'm always eager to find 
and be introduced to new metal. You know, we were the same way back when I used to ride BMX freestyle. You know, as a dumbass kid, which I was when I first started riding, I was in my teens. You know, as teens, we always think we know everything, and we don't. We don't know squat. But that's how we were to, to people that would come out and and try, try to do trick riding and stuff, and they were just starting out. Because maybe we were just a little bit better than them, and you know we'd like to throw away around the word poser and stuff like that. And you know, eventually, over time, you know, I stopped doing that because I realized, you know what, I was at the exact same spot these other people are at one time. Nobody in in any field immediately starts out knowing everything there is to know about everything. So whether it's music, whether it's BMX freestyle, whether it's physics, you know, whatever, you you don't know everything. So I would say we should we should uh, and this is this is how I do these days. You know, if I'm into something and somebody comes along and you know they want to get involved into it, in it too, because they're interested in stuff, then I don't. You know, I wouldn't think of like shunning them because they're not in the same place I am when it comes to that sort of thing. And you know, I, I really learned that because my daughter. You know, when my daughter, you know, as she grew up and she started to have the same interests in me, she started liking some of the same music as me and horror movies and stuff like that. You know, I embraced her not just because she was my daughter, but also because here's somebody somebody that's wanting to get introduced to this stuff and instead of me being an ass about it and again not looking at her as my daughter just looking at somebody coming in wanting to learn about horror movies or the music I listen to and so like that instead of being a jerk then we should do just the opposite we should you know, try to educate them as much as we can so I openly ask anyone out there that you know, is you know, knows all these bands. You know, drop me some comments. So let me know. Um, educate me a little bit. That way, I know uh, more about them. Now, like I said, I have heard of Gore Guts, and I, I mean, I've actually heard a couple of their songs before because I I've got a couple compilation CDs down there from I think ones from Century Media Records. And then there's another one that I can't remember the I'd, I'd have to look at it to see what uh, record label it's from but it's got like you know 30 different metal bands on it and a lot of them are from, from overseas I'm pretty sure Gore Guts is on there alright we got Gore Guts Consists of Luke LeMay on guitar and vocals, Gary Schoenard on guitar, and Eric Gugetri. I'm probably butchering her name on bass, and Stefan Proventure on drums. Just pronouncing them as as I as they look to me when I'm reading them. And then Disincarnate consists of Brian Keegan on vocals, James Murphy on guitars. That's an easy one to say, James Murphy. Tobias Pike. That's not a pretty easy one. On bass and Alex Marquez on drums. It says Disincarnate later welcomed Jason Carmen on guitar and Tommy. By a tour on drums to the band, so as yeah, with most bands, you know they they you know, swap out people. You know as time goes on, I mean you'd be hard pressed to find really, especially these days, any band that's got all their original members in it. It's got like a little paragraph here from James Murphy. I'm talking about the songs that were uh, 
that are on this CD. So nice. I'll be looking forward to popping that in and let's do it. I have gotten in a habit now of actually um, taking uh, CDs once in a while and when I go to work, taking them with me to work so I can listen to them on the way. Um, because otherwise, I never have time here at home to listen to them. But there you go. Again, drop me any comments down below if, if you know, you know, if you're very familiar with any of these bands, um, you know. Like I said, educate me. Um, I'm eager to know more about, especially if you, if you can. Like I said, this looks really familiar, but I can't. I can't think of what it is. And they don't really. They don't really do a cheat sheet. So. So drop me some comments. Uh, yeah, and uh, if you're interested in the metalhead box, obviously you find uh, the information down below about it. Um, they are. It is based out of Canada, so if you're here in, in the United States, I think they do ship internationally. I mean, obviously they ship Canada to the United States, but I think they ship like worldwide. Um, but if you're even in the U.S., if you subscribe, just be aware that when you get your first shipping notice, that it'll probably be like a week before you actually see tracking a tracking go up because they. They basically, I think they ship it from Canada down to like their main hub or whatever, I believe is in Florida. And then from there it goes out to, you know, the consumer. The metalhead, if you will. So. Alright, that's it. As always, hey everybody, uh, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe, hit the notification bell. The next thing I'll be doing is my newest horror pack Blu-ray box. And, uh... Yeah, outside of that, look out for yourself and those around you so we all have a much better chance of staying safe and healthy. Till next time, see you.